while we weren't looking, Elementor just released another feature right after it released four new features. This is an AI feature, and it lets you recreate entire sections of a website. And in the future, it'll be able to recreate entire web pages for you right inside Elementor. In this video, we're going to check out how it works in its current state, and we're going to look to the future to see what it might be able to do in the future. Hi, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. I'm happy you're here. Now let's get started. I'll drop a link to this page in the description down below. It's the release blog post. It's pretty informative, but if you watch this video, you probably don't have to read this post. We're going to do pretty much everything it shows or everything it talks about, but show it to you. So here we have a page built in Elementor. This is actually an Astra theme template page. So it doesn't quite work exactly how Elementor describes in the blog post because it's not built with containers. This only works for sites built with containers. And if you're building a brand new site, they can just use containers. But if you're updating an existing one, you can't just go in and right click wherever you want because the generate with AI or generate variations with AI option is not there. But if I drag in this container and I right click on that, here's our generate variations with AI. To get this menu option, you actually have to tweak a setting inside the Elementor settings. I'll get to that at the end of the video after I've shown you some cool stuff that you can do with it. So we click on generate variations with AI and then we have to give it a text prompt. We can use a forward slash to get some ideas if we want. Just click on those things and it starts our prompt for us. And with AI prompts, the more detailed you can be, the better. It's often hard to translate what you see in your head to written text that you want the AI to generate. And sometimes, because Elementor is pretty quick to build with, it takes longer for you to write it out than it would to build it. Luckily, Elementor has created a prompt library. They have prompts for images, text, code, and build. I have a video on every single one of these. I'll link to those in the description down below in the card up above. This video is about containers, and this is the only one that has a drop down in this menu. So I feel like they're going to be adding more options in the future. Click on containers, and you can go through here, find ones that you like. And how this works is this image that you see here is generated with the prompt that you see here. And it's only partial prompt. If you click on the eye, it doesn't give you the full prompt. But if you copy prompt, it gives you the full prompt. Let's paste that right in here and click on generate. It's going to give us three options. While it's doing that, I should tell you about Elementor AI prices. It's not free. There's a free trial that gives you a limited amount of prompts. And after that, you got to pay a monthly or a yearly amount. It generated a bunch of blank things. So that's not ideal. I'm currently on a local website on my computer. Let me quickly go to a website that's live on the internet and see if this works better. So here we are on the RVing with Family website, which is live on the internet. We can drag in a Flexbox container here or even click on this button here and then it opens up the generate with AI. For your first time, you got to check that box, click on get started and then Let's paste in that same prompt that we had earlier and click on generate. That's more like it. It's got three options for us. This first one looks a little hokey. That's because this text is white on white over here. If we click on the other one, we get the next version. Needs some spacing adjustment, but looks pretty unique. Top of that picture is cut off. Click on this one. Another version we have there. This box that we have to move around all the time is pretty annoying. These two buttons shrink it though, that helps. I think this is the best one from that set. If you don't like any of them, you can click on regenerate. It's going to regenerate all of them for you. But I'm just going to use this one right here. And now we have a pretty good looking header section. And if we change the page to be a full layout, it'll look even better. Let's change it to Elementor Canvas. That looks better already. So that's the first version of the new AI. If we go to their page over here, we see they have three levels. Text-based generation, which we just did. Elementor based variations, which we're going to do now, and web based generation, which we can't do now because that feature is still under construction. They haven't released it yet. To do the Elementor based variations, you have to add an Elementor block. So let's go into the template library and let's add this one here. This should work with any Elementor template in the library. I haven't tried them all, obviously, but it should work with any of them as long as they're built with the Flexbox container. And then when we right click anywhere in this container, we have the generate variations with AI button. Click on that and it's going to base the variations on this. So we're going to add a prompt to have it update this. See how it added it right there? So this is going to now allow us to take the content from this block that we just added and make changes to it. So the prompt I'm giving it is please make the background light orange and have a shape divider at the top because this flat looks kind of weird with the other shape divider there. Or if we had a white background, that could work even better. But I'll keep what I have here. Instead of four columns, 
down here, please make it two columns. Change the text of the Learn More button to Join Today and change the color of that button to green. Change the title of the section to Let's Go. Let's click on Generate and see what happens. It did something. It changed this to blue, the color for some reason. It took out that fitness call to action. It did do the button though. It changed it from Learn More to Join Today and it made it green, so that was great. The columns I didn't quite understand. We've got some icons on these two and then no icons on these two. So we're not quite there with that one. Let's go, it changed the title up there to let's go. Achieve total body fitness, it changed those words. Join today, has four columns along the bottom, and let's go, mind, body, and soul fitness, join today. It got pretty close to what I was saying. I feel like maybe it didn't understand or I wasn't clear enough with changing these columns down here. Maybe those aren't even columns in the elementary setup, but I think they are. Um, but it did the rest okay. I, I didn't want it to change this title. Anyhow, that's how we can update elementor based templates. Oh, it also didn't do the, the shape divider at the top. So I missed that one. There's still going to be tweaks you have to do. It's not going to be perfect. You're not going to be able to just type in one text prompt and have an entire page done exactly how you want it. This will make it go a little bit faster, I think. Instead of drag and dropping all these elements over, it did it for us. And then if I don't there might be easier things they can do. So these icons, maybe we don't like them in green. Let's see if we can make it purple. Let's see if it can do that. And is it worth it really? Because you could just change the color of one icon and then copy paste the style to all the rest. So is it worth the time it takes to type that out and then wait for it to generate? I don't know. And it didn't do what I wanted. Please change the color of the icons to purple. I'm pretty sure those are generally called icons and they're all green in all the options they gave us. And they even went ahead and, and changed the title again. I didn't ask for it to change the title. Let's try that again. Let's see if we can tell it to not change anything else. So I'm saying now, please change the color of the icons to purple. Do not change anything else. And here I'll actually change this to change the icons from green to purple. So maybe that'll help it determine what I'm talking about. So it's again 0 for 3. It didn't change the headline across all of those. So it, it, it took into account, I think, the don't change anything else but change the background color and it didn't change the icons. So there's that. It's a start. It'll make your work a lot faster, but it's not gonna be perfect. You're still gonna have to tweak things, but it's still pretty neat. And the, uh, the web-based generation over here, this is gonna allow you to add a URL to the prompt. So we've, we've seen this throughout this video. You put your prompt in here, this little plus icon, press on that, you can click on reference a website and that's coming soon. This is where you're gonna be able to enter our, a URL. So I think what it's gonna do, it's gonna pull in an entire website and recreate the whole thing. Even in the description here, it says, uh, Elementor AI references distinct layouts and structures from a specified URL and refines them with the user's prompt to generate fully styled Elementor compatible containers tailored to your needs. So it sounds like it'll build the whole page. It'll, it'll look at what page you gave it and it'll rebuild the whole thing based on your input. And hopefully it actually listens because when we're asking it to just change the icon color, it didn't do that. So it's definitely not going to be what you tell it to be, but and it's not going to be exactly the website that you're copying from. And even when it's done, you're going to want to make sure yours is totally unique and doesn't look the same at all. This is just a way to get you moving faster and creating websites faster. So that's all the features that were released. And this last one was not released yet. If you want to turn this on in your site, there is something you have to do to make it work. First of all, you have to be on a live website, which we learned in this video. It does not work currently or maybe ever on local websites. You also need to go into the WordPress dashboard, go to Elementor settings and then features and then scroll down and turn on build with AI. By default, it's turned off. When you turn that on, it's also gonna make you turn on Flexbox container. So if you don't have that turned on yet, it's gonna force you to turn that on as well. When you turn on build with AI, that's totally fine. That's just those containers that we saw throughout this video. And that's what the AI is based on. So once you change to active, go down here, save changes. And that is when this little link right here generate variations with AI will appear. And that's when this button right here is going to appear. Next up, check out this playlist right up here. It has all the different AI features that Elementor currently has all in one place. So make sure you check that out. And then check out this video down here, which is the most recent Elementor update video that I published yesterday for brand new updates that just came out this week. Make sure you check that as well. 
If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.